Hey everyone, Warrior Women. This is Thanksgiving week, so I wanted to come in here and talk about being thankful. Hopefully that's what everybody's thinking about, has been thinking about this week, or this maybe this entire month, what they're thankful for, what God has been doing for them in their life throughout the year. In fact, it says in 1 Thessalonians 5.18 that give thanks in all circumstances for this is actually, it's actually the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. It's also the way that you enter into God's presence. I've been talking about this just recently. We enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. We are to thank him and uh, we are to thank him and bless his name at all times. This is what God um, wants us to do. And there is, I don't know how many verses, uh, numerous verses that talk about how we should be thankful to God at all times, no matter what's going on in our lives. What does it do for our health, for one? Um, being thankful, it, well, it increases our mood. It decreases stress. It decreases anxiety. Um, it increases what they call the feel-good hormones, which is serotonin and dopamine. So we just are in an overall better mood. We just feel better. It lessens depression. So it's, you know, one way to just feel better overall. And another thing is, what happens if we're not in Thanksgiving? Well, the actual opposite. You can just, you can just flip it. Um, our, our emotional stress, our anxiety, our depression, it gets worse and worse and worse. And we just live under this dark cloud. Um, it attacks our health because that's where we're focused on, all the negative in our life, you know, even not feeling good, that makes not feeling good even, even worse. You feel even worse because it's where your focus is on instead of what you're thankful for. Um, it decreases your energy, so your, um, because it, de it increases depression, so it decreases energy and you just don't wanna do anything, see anyone, less motivation, because you're just focused on all the yuck in your life instead of what's good in your life. Um, so that's not where we want to camp. We do not want to camp in the negative because when you camp in the negative, you increase the negative. What you focus on is because it becomes what you get more of. So if you're focusing on the good, it increases the good in your life. If you're focusing on the negative, it increases the negative in your life. That's just the way it works. It's actually, I'm sure the way God designed it. Um, another thing that happens, just like the Israelites, their unbelief, their um, negative thoughts, their negative focus, their negative, their constant complaining, that hardened their hearts. It broke their belief. It made them get into unbelief. It separates your relation, it separate, makes a separation between your relationship with you and God. It breaks that. And so what happened to them? Because of their hardness of heart, their hardening of heart, because of their unbelief and their complaining, they never got their promised land. They were not, they didn't, they couldn't enter into their promised land. And the same thing is what's going to happen to you or to me if we um, never are focused on the good in our lives, if we're always focused on just complaining, um, hardening our hearts, then we cannot enter into our promised land. We are not going to enter into all the good things that, that the Lord has for us. He has got a plan for each one of us. And if we're over here <laughs> focusing on all of the bad in our lives, we cannot, we'll never get what God has, or what the purpose is for God is in our lives. And ultimately, we're not going to get that uh, final destination either, which is <laughs> to live eternally with our Lord and our Savior because of our unbelief. Once again, our unthankfulness, our ungratefulness hardens our heart, causes unbelief, and we don't get that eternal uh, destination either. So we just never enter into any of that promised land that the Lord has for us. So one of the things that we can do um, just as a, pro as a practice is, what are you thankful for every day? Try for 30 days to get out a journal um, open up your journal and just write down three things. Maybe first thing in the morning, what you're thankful for. You can just write those things down before you go to bed at night. Maybe review those things. Um, 
thank the Lord for what you're thankful for. That is your focus throughout the day. Those things that you're thankful for. You're upright. You're breathing. You've got oxygen. You've, everybody's has got something to be thankful for. No matter what the circumstances are in your life, that's where your focus has to be. And that's what will increase in your life is where your focus is at. Finally, what I would like to talk about is Revelation 12, 11. Talks about we are overcomers by the blood of the Lamb, first of all, and by the word of our testimony, second of all, which is, um, what is the word of our testimony? Well, what God did for us on the cross, for one, the shedding of his blood so that we have victory and we are overcomers by what he did for us on the cross. But secondly, what he's doing in our life, what is all of the goodness, um, focus on what the goodness is in our lives and then telling others about that. We are supposed to be telling others about what he did for us on the cross and the goodness in our life. That's what brings others to Christ is they can see that on you, in you, his goodness in you and, they, and, and for you. And then they want some of that. They want to know Jesus as well. So do you want your promised land? <laughs> we can have it here and we can have it there, but not if we're not in thankfulness and gratefulness for everything that uh, our Lord and our Savior has done for us. So I hope that you guys can change your focus. Realize that whatever we're focused on, we're going to get. So we've got to change that to what we want to have not to all the yuck that we're increasing in our lives because that's what we're focusing on. And I want to wish you all a happy Thanksgiving and I'll see you again next, next week.